have a little chat. If anybody's curious, I'm using the Brazos Hitchhiker Walking Stick. I like them. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I really appreciate you coming out. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. You have gone through an amazing physical transformation in, in the last how long? Probably a year and a half. year and a half. It's probably taken about a year and a half to to get my body straight to where I want, you know, to, you know, where I'm active and can do a lot of things. And what's the most you've weighed in the last few years? So I, I man, two, two, two years ago, I probably was about 260 pounds. Um, I think I competed at a judo tournament at 260. Um, and I've gone down, like today, I weighed in at 215 pounds, um, getting ready for Worlds for uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, so yeah. Uh, martial arts, jiu-jitsu has definitely impacted my life, and um, and that's where I am right now physically. So it's good. Fantastic. Yep. And so talk about, you know, what was what was that trigger at 260? What was it that got you to where you are now? Because this is you look fantastic. Thank you. I appreciate and, it. And you know, I know there was a lot of hard work to get here. I think I think most most of it was just. Um, walking into the association that I'm in now for, for jiu-jitsu, um, Big Brothers and um, Scott Saab and Centerville, uh, BJJ, and, and knowing that they had expectations that, you know, I was going to represent the school and compete. So I knew I had to get in better shape. Um, I knew my cardio had to be top-notch if I was going to compete at the highest levels in the world. And that's what I'm doing now, you know, over... That, tr that transition so it's been a year and so forth a year and a half and uh, you know they've helped me immensely along with the team um, Scott and um, Leo Dalla um, and, and many others Bill Nagel who's over at Demi and BJJ they've helped me immensely um, training partners from everywhere even Disciple MMA um, have helped me and, and got me where I am right now so I, I thank all of them um and I look forward to, to representing everybody when I go to Vegas next week. Has your diet changed at all? Diet's changed a lot. Um, what I what I typically what we typically do, and I heard this on the news one day. It was real funny. Um, they said that our diet is learned, like we eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and that's kind of ingrained in our head. So what I did is I changed my diet to to benefit my training. So since I train twice a day, I need to be fueled basically twice a day. Um, a little bit of, you know, I cut down the carbs a little bit, sugar and sweets, yeah, that's in there. But for the most part, I'll eat before I train, um, and I don't eat after my last training session. So I'll go to sleep, wake up, you know, have some water, maybe a banana so the potassium is there so I don't, you know, gas out and cramp up. Um, have a good meal before a training session, um, eggs, you know, protein base, um, and then after I train the first time, whether it's weights or, or, or BJJ, um, I have a meal before my second training session, similar in protein and carbs, and then go at it real good. And then after that, go home, water again, go to sleep, and then do it all over again. So it, it, it takes a lot of discipline. Your body has to get used to it, but the weight starts dropping. I think they call it intermittent fasting. I think that's probably the term they use, and it, and it works. What's the time frame between your, your big meal mm -hmm. and your training session? Yeah, so if I eat at 11, um, the small training session, usually drilling or weights, um, I usually go around mm, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, so like two, 2 to 3 hours before. Um, I'll eat after that training session um, around 5 o'clock, and then I'll train again at 7. And I'm usually in the gym until 9.30. Um, come home, again, water. <laughs> and that, that take, it's hard because our community is so big and we want to do we, we love each other and we always want to go out to drink or eat and it's always tough it's like oh man I know if I have these weight goals I can't I can't do it so you know if I go out with my team and they'll, they'll laugh when they see this video but yeah I'll, I'll sit at the bar and have water which is <laughs> hilarious <laughs> but even like the bartenders are like oh yeah you must be training for a tournament like, that's that's the deal. You just gotta be disciplined in your diet and and want to achieve your goal. Well, I really appreciate you coming out here and sharing. I do promote the Taylor Freedom Seed as a fitness accessory. For me, uh, it was rehabilitation because of my knees right. and allowing me to, to rest when I needed. This, this is still a good invention. 
I'm not a big hiker. It's not something I do, but I walk a lot. My cardio is, I, I don't run anymore. Um, so I walk a lot. And this is like, this is great, man. I love it. What I'm hoping is that people who want to get out there and, and do it mm -hmm. can use the Tale of Freedom seat to help them get to where you are. Right. You know, where you don't need it anymore. Yeah. Where you don't need mm -hmm. the trekking poles or you don't need to rest as frequently. Mm -hmm. um, but you, you know, have it just in case. You know, you got to start somewhere. Right. When I was really injured, my limit was 100 feet. Mm -hmm. And so I could either turn around and go home or I could sit in my tailo right. for a little bit and then keep going. Yep. And that's what I'm hoping that uh, other people will be able to, to see the benefit of and, and use. And um, I don't know how long we've been sitting here, a few uh, minutes. Yeah. And talk about maybe a little bit about that, you know, after a, a duration of sit and, and interview, you know. Still, what, still feel good. Knees are feeling good. Tension is really off the legs. Um, I can go back and forth. Um, I feel tight in the seat. I feel secure. I feel like I can eat or drink if I want to. I like I've, I've had some comments from some people that it starts to cut in under the legs. And, and Not really. It's, it, I think it, I think you have to fan it out enough to make sure that it doesn't do that. I think, you know, I think my butt is small enough now. <laughs> <laughs> so that's probably, you know, um, it feels good, man. It's a good, it's a good product. Thank so you, getting up from the Taylor Freedom seat, again, everything is lean forward, mm -hmm. step forward. So from the advanced position, we're going to lean forward. You can use the poles to help push yourself, step forward, and you're up. And for me, I'm just going to bundle it up, put it in my pocket because I need to use it more frequently than, ah. <laughs> than most. No doubt. I love and, this thing, man. And we're off. Yeah. <laughs>